Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. It has been storming here all afternoon, so it's really exciting to look out there and see right as the sun sets, it's gonna shine. But what a cool thunderstorm we had this afternoon. I love summer thunderstorms, so that was right up my alley for a couple hours. So, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kim Kellogg, and I am the creative force behind Lilac Lane DIY, where we hope to get you creative and keep you creative. And in that vein, we do live videos on Wednesday nights at 7.30, and Friday nights at 6.30 to show you some cool new projects that you can order to help keep you creative. Hey mom, hey Donna. So tonight we've got some fun things, but they couldn't be more different from each other. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Normally I stay in the same, um, same design theme, but tonight I'm going way out on a limb with you guys. But I have a couple of announcements. First of all, we will not have a regular, hey Carol, a regular Friday night live because we are gonna be out of town for Maddie's freshman orientation for college. I'm so excited. So we're gonna pre-record, hey Tammy, hey Terry, we will be pre-recording a, um, Donna, there was not. We had people in the shop and I was not able to do a 6.30 live for members, so I'm gonna post some videos for you instead. So Friday we're gonna be doing recorded videos as well because we'll be on the road to North Carolina. Hey Lynn, hey Fee. So those will be pre-recorded. It will not be a traditional live on Friday night, but you will still get some crafting in for Friday night and then we will not be open at all on Saturday. So classes will resume on Sunday. Um, so if there's a project that you want to work on, you're more than welcome to come visit us on Sunday, but we will be closed on Saturday. One of the things I swore when I started this business was that it was gonna allow for family time and rarely has it had to, but that happened Saturday. So we are gonna take Maddie down and get her all together for her freshman orientation at High Point and we'll be back Sunday. So we've had a lot of requests for this particular sign, the Live Life in Full Bloom. So you can find it on our, um, sorry, I'm trying one more time with this silly thing to try to turn it around for you guys and it just isn't gonna work. I don't understand it. Don't understand it. Anyway, we've had a lot of um, a lot of requests for this project, and it was one that we did a few months ago, and you can find it on our website, so if you wanna order that one, you can um, check it out on the website, and I will put a kit together for you. The other thing I wanted to show you guys was the finished egret. I know we sent a picture out, but I wanted you guys to see it. It's so Gorgeous, oh my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous. This one, hey Linda, this one's a little smaller than what you guys are getting just because it's easier for me to work with and I really thought I was gonna do this one live for you, but it is a little detailed and it takes a little while, so we opted not to do it live. So, I think that's all the housekeeping. Recorded videos on Friday because we will be driving. We will be closed on Saturday, but we will be open on Sunday and we have some cool classes and some cool projects. So if you want to come craft with us on Sunday, make sure you let me know and I will be here waiting for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited so y'all can already see. We got a flamingo theme going on tonight with one of our projects. The other project is totally farmhouse. So like I said, two totally different things. So this one is the flamingo crossing. And these all, um, this one is a hanger. I'm gonna put a little piece of twine on the back so you can hang it. These are bigger than a tray size. So these are for sitting. So this one comes, this one says let's flamingo, let's flamingle. This one comes with its stand. So these are definitely shelf sitters as opposed to tiered tray sets. So just to let you know, those sizes are a lot bigger than what are on the tray. So I'm gonna start with the flamingo crossing. And I'm gonna start with a light pink for the background, and then we're gonna do more of a flamingo pink on the, um, on the rest. So I hope everybody's having a great week. Like I said, it was, a, um, it was a stormy afternoon, but it was fun to hear that nice summer thunderstorm because that I love a good thunderstorm. Glad we got our grass cut yesterday. All right, so I'm just gonna go over this whole thing and then we're gonna paint the letters and the frame. These go together really quickly. That's why I love them. I know there's always a lot of pieces with the tray sets, but they go together so fast. 
But again, these are bigger than that. These are definitely just shelf sitters or table sitters more than they are for trays. You could probably put this one in a tray, but definitely not the round. It's very large. All right. Let's look at this. We had lots of people picking up projects today, so thank you guys so much. We are working on some big goals around here, and we love we love when you guys are helping us with those, whether that be by, um, I can't say the S word, because Ashley will get me, but when you guys are, um, are letting other people see our videos and... Um, and making sure that people are aware that we're here. We really appreciate that. We really do. You guys are our best advertisement. A happy customer is the best advertisement you can have. All right, so I'm hoping that I have you tilted down enough that you can see my tape. So we're gonna paint all these letters and we're gonna paint our background with a totally different color pink. And then we're just gonna put it all together. And hopefully this works well together. This is the flamingo color that I wanted, but it's a little different. A little different now that I'm getting it out of the bottle, but I think it's going to be fine. We'll just experiment with it and see how we like it. But that's definitely the flamingo color I wanted. We love going to SeaWorld and seeing all the flamingos. And the, you know, we, I didn't know until we went there that the reason that they're pink is because of the shrimp that they eat. And so they have some there that are not very pink at all, which is what sparked the conversation about their color. And I had no idea that that's where they got their color from. Let's see how we like that. Yeah, that's a nice contrast. I like that. Okay. I wasn't sure, so now we'll paint all the letters. But just the flamingo crossing ones. And I have my tape because this is gonna make quick work of this. I was excited this weekend too to see so many of you coming into the shop to craft and using the tape, yay. <laughs> it seems everybody loves the tape idea. All right, so that one is done. We're gonna let the pieces dry and we're gonna put it together. Now, we have to paint this guy. We have to paint this guy. We're gonna paint him the same color. I love this color. Who are all my flamingo lovers? Because I know there are a lot of you. I get requests for flamingos all the time. And we are working on full-size signs and door hangers as well. We're just trying to move out of our spring stuff into summer, and this is more of a, um, more of a summer project for us. Let's do this. I'm gonna put a little bit of gray in that because I want it a touch darker than what it is. Let me do that over here so I don't get gray everywhere because y'all know I will all right don't panic it's not gonna stay like that okay so here we go now we need black these are so cute oh my goodness super super cute Oh, I didn't realize that the Asian ones were a lighter color, too. That's very cool, Faith. You just learn something new every day. They are very complex little guys, too. Hey, Mary. How are you? Oh, 
Actually, I think I'm more excited about this weekend than she is. Like, she's gonna get to see her dorm room. She's gonna get her student ID. I'm like over the moon, right? And she's like, oh yeah, what time do we have to leave? <laughs> Once she gets there, she's like crazy person though. She loves it there. It is the most beautiful place and so welcoming and home feeling like you just know sometimes when you when you have chosen the right path for your child you just know um, and and we just know every time we go there all right so these are all done so in that little short of time we did two shelf sitters that's awesome hey Kim hey Rosemary you found it Sharon long time no see right <laughs> all right so I'm gonna start gluing these together I did already paint the background of the larger one with the white um, and it does have the engraved places to help you put your letters down which is awesome and y'all know I'm just gonna put some glue down on the table to stick our letters on because it makes it much easier much much easier and I'm gonna glue these on before I put the frame on sometimes I do it the other way but tonight I'm gonna do letters first and then glue the frame This is like leading up to the big flamingo signs. Super exciting. And that one needs a little more paint. Just a little bit. I noticed I missed a spot. Right there. There we go. Everything is fixable. I love that this one is on an angle. I don't know, I don't like anything straight. These really go together quick, which my impatient self loves. flamingo and a frame and this one is done 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 super quick and easy let's put some glue on here and then we're going to put the round together and then we're going to move on to the coolest farmhouse sign we had so many requests the last time we did the barn door frame um, for people to have one that didn't say this is us and so we found a double barn door frame that is amazing. Oh my gosh, look at that, y'all. That is too stinking cute. I love that. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's a keeper for me. I love it. Oh, Christy, she's going to um, High Point in North Carolina. So she is, she is North Carolina bound. Hey, Nancy, flamingos just for you. <laughs> it's okay for you to be late to the party. We understand. We understand you are almost a retired girl. Your time is your own. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to start gluing this guy together. He's going to get in his little spot there. And then I'm going to glue the rest of his face on. The rest of his face so that just slides in there and then this piece goes in that little slot very cool if my fat fingers will allow it and I stuck pink in it of course because y'all know y'all know but I can fix anything so I'm okay with that there we go all right a little bit more glue and we're gonna stick these down. Let's 
Super cute. Two signs in 20 minutes, right? What more could you ask for, for an impatient crafter? The next one's gonna take a little while longer. Still not bad though, but it will take a little longer than this one did. I'm trying to keep up with Sharon, who's been here crafting today, and I got a stack of projects that she made today over here. She was killing it today. I'm trying to get all her projects done while she's in town. Okay, this guy is one letter away from being done. Look how cute. All right, and just because it didn't have the apostrophe, but the apostrophe will drive me crazy, I am going to paint it on right there. Okay, super, super cute. I love them both. So you'll have to tell me which one of the flamingo um, shelf sitters are your favorite. I'm, I'm not sure because I love them both. But this one has a stand that it sits on. Super adorable. And then this one can either have a piece of ribbon on the back of it or it can just lean. Super, super cute. All right, love them. Love them. And now it's time to farmhouse. It is time to farmhouse. Hey, Christy. You, you are just in time, Christy, for something I know you're gonna love. I just know it. Okay, get all these brushes out of my way. And we are gonna make a double farm, a double barn door, ugh, a double barn door frame with a double frame. Okay, so here are the pieces. I have put together the frame just for sake of time. It's literally just gluing the pieces together. It's three layers because there's a gap here for you to fit your pictures in so that they can slide in and out. So there's that part to this. And then there are these two pieces that go behind the barn door that I went ahead and just dry brushed white, just with regular white paint. So those are the things that I, um, you need this for a friend. You have a flamingo loving friend too, Dawn. I have flamingo loving friends too, that I know I'm gonna have to get one for. All right, so these pieces go behind the actual door. And so we're gonna paint the actual doors and then we're gonna start gluing everything together. And then this just leans inside. So this is supposed to be a leaner, but let me tell you what I did at the last minute. And we won't have it dry enough to put the bottom on it, but yours is gonna have a bottom with it that you're gonna be able to make this a standing frame. So it's gonna come with a base and you're gonna hot glue at the bottom to make this a standing piece. So you'll be able to either lean it or stand it. So, but like I said, because the parts are gonna be glued, we are not gonna be able to stand it up um, while, um, while we're on this video. But a picture will show it with it in the, on the stand for you. So you, like I said, will be able to either lean it or stand it. So that was a whole lot of instructions to tell you that you'll have two options with this one. <laughs> I'm a little wordy today. Okay, so I'm gonna take these back out. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna paint this top part of this framing, which is actually the slides for the door. I'm gonna paint those black because they are the metal work of the um, sliding barn doors. So they would be black. And I was gonna stain these, but I am gonna do the white dry brush on them. Um, and I'm gonna go around the edges with a little bit of gray for some distressing. You can paint this any color your heart desires. This is just what's gonna match with what I do in my house. Holly, girl, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, and I, um, I'll send you a picture. I, I think I found the file for your 2022. It's gonna look just like the 2021, except with 2022. So um, I'll send you a picture, and then if you are interested in ordering it, just order it as the 2021 and put a note in there for me. I just wanted to make sure that all the pieces are exactly the same before I, before I do it. I'm 
not sure. I think these little pieces are supposed to be black too. They would have been on the real one, so that's what I'm gonna do. Right down to the door. We also, on the other one, one of the things that I love the most about it was those handles. And this one has those same handles. I don't know about y'all, but I absolutely love those little handles. They look just like a barn door. Love them, love them, love them, love them. Girl, like I told you, Holly, I, I'll have to have it for next year anyway, so it's it's no, no big deal. No big deal, my dear. All right, there we go. Those need to dry. They need to dry. I can't help it, Dawn. I can't help it. That's my job. <laughs> my job is to help you find new projects. That's my job. I guess you're telling me I do a good job at it, which I'm going to take as a compliment. <laughs> The attention to detail is amazing, Ashley. You are absolutely right. I can't get over how detailed, I mean, seriously, how detailed you can get with this thing. Doesn't that look just like it? Of course, you know what it really looks like to me? I don't know about y'all. My Fox Hill girls, tell me. This looks like the cabinet pulls in my mom's kitchen. We all had them. Every single one of us. I've been in all y'all's houses. We all had them. All right, let's get to cutting. Let's get to not cutting. I'm all excited about cutting. I'm ready to go home and cut. Um, let's get to painting after I get all the paint off of me. Good Lord. I'm too excited. That's the problem. I'm just too excited. And I got to spend the day getting membership boxes wrapped up, which makes me super excited. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Now I've got white paint everywhere, and that's okay. When I stop at the grocery store on the way home, those people look at me like, oh, my gosh. Does she not know how to wash her hands? Where has she been? All right, we're just gonna get these doors painted and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the edges with a little bit of gray to distress them, just so they look a little worn. I don't want them to look too perfect. This one's super easy to put together, but it looks so impressive. Like, if you buy something like this, you're gonna pay a fortune for it. And you didn't make it, but you can make this. And then when people are like, oh my gosh, where'd you get that? You can say, I made that. I totally made that. People come to my house, they're like, did you make that or did you buy it? <laughs> I'm like, you tell me. This one is so fun. Oh my goodness. I love barn doors. They are my thing. I, um, I'd have them at every doorway if it allowed, but some doorways do not allow for a barn door. But I would, every door. And I love that you can do those single ones now, but there is something about a double barn door that you pull both sides open into a room that is just so amazing to me. So this picture frame spoke to me because of that. I have a girlfriend who has the most amazing craft cabinet that has these sliding doors on it and I love it. Every time I'm in her craft room, I am just in awe of this cabinet. All right, so those are done. I'm gonna let them dry for a second. Everything else is all ready to put together. I'm probably going to stain the backer board for this that it's gonna stand on. So I will post a picture of it. The picture that you're gonna see tonight 
is just going to be leaning because I've got to let the whole thing dry before I hot glue it to its to its stand. But then I'll post another picture of it tomorrow on its stand. All right. Now let's take a little bit of gray. I've still got some over here. This is still a little wet, but I'm going to try it and see. I just want to hit some of the edges. And just darken it up a little in some places. I don't want a lot. And if I get too much, I'm just going to go over it with my white brush. So no harm, no foul. You cannot mess this up, so you can play with it. That brush might be too soft. You can just play with it until you get the look that you're going for. I rarely hit it on the first try. I almost always have to keep working at it. But I just want something that looks aged, but not overly done. I don't want it to look like I tried to age it. I just want it to look like there were some worn places on the door. Kind of digging that. Of course, I'm going to overdo it. You know that because now I'm happy with it. I'm going to ruin it. All right. There we go. I like it. That's good. Okay. Let that dry for a second. I will go ahead and glue these on so that they No, because I need to glue the panels on first. This is all work in progress, y'all. Work in progress. Oh, thank you for the compliment. There is, Dawn. Hey, Sarita. There is something so satisfying when someone looks at something and says, did you make that or did you buy that? Because I'm like, oh, so see, you weren't sure if it's store-bought, which means I did a really good job. So there is something very exciting about that. All right, that's still a touch wet, but I'm going to lay it down and go ahead and put some glue on here. And this one literally is almost finished. Like, Super, super easy. I'm out of your camera range. I'm sorry. This one's very, very long. This is a big project. Size-wise. Not work-wise. Alright. And now these you can just pop on. And they will line up. And for those of you who have done classes with me or have been doing this with me a while, you know that if you got paint on your sides, once you get it all put together, you just take a fine line brush with some black paint and go all around those edges to get rid of your over painting areas where you may have gone over the sides. Or you can paint it all the color that you painted with. I just really like the dark edges. I think they give a nice shadow. And so I tend to go back through and paint them all black, just so it all looks cohesive. All right, so we can flip this over. That little pink just doesn't wanna go away, does it? It keeps showing up everywhere. And this is what you have. You have some gorgeous, gorgeous, distressed barn doors. And then what happens is, because it's a leaner by nature, um, this just goes in the center and you lean it against a wall or in a in a bookcase but i wanted something that could stand up which is why you're going to get this as well because you can then hot glue it to the bottoms of these and you will have a standing frame which is awesome i love it i love it so let's glue these adorable handles on and then this one is done wasn't that super fast and easy? But so, oops, glue stuck to my fingers. So stinking adorable. Oh my gosh, and the detail. You just can't even, until you see it, you just can't even completely understand the detail in this. Okay, there she is. Look how fast and easy that was. And you put your pictures in from the sides. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. So I will take a black, a brush with black paint on it. In fact, I'll do it right now and show you. And just go around those edges. I don't have enough black paint on there. 
and clean those up. And usually I get it on the sides and that's okay. Use a finer brush than this and just go around all those edges where you can see white. So here she is, let's turn it around. And if you had it on a shelf, it would lean kind of like this. But again, you can do it like that, but you're also going to get the stand that you can hot glue to the bottom and make it a standing frame. Super, super cute. Super cute. Jerry says he likes the barn doors. I love the barn doors. You know, I'm a barn door girl. And he loves wood, so that he loves anything with barn doors, right? Because it's, it's woodsy and mansy. Mansy, that's not even a word. Mansy, whatever. That's okay, it is today, right? It's a lilac lane word. So here we have our other project. This is our flamingo project, super, super cute. The set of two of these is 18, and you get the stand as well to put the round one in. So that's 18. And then the barn door frame, of course, I'm gonna hold it up this way, even though it doesn't sit this way, just so you can see it again. This one is 32, and that's with the stand. So you'll have your option of either leaning it or gluing it and having it stand by itself. Super, super cute project. And again, super easy to change out the pictures. No fuss, no muss. And look how fast it was for us to paint this one. I absolutely love it. Love it. All right. But when he likes it, I can add it to my list. Oh, yes, we like that. <laughs> we like that. We like that a lot. And Dawn, I haven't forgotten about you. I have a kid's box for you and your vinyl for your truck. I have been, ah, as y'all know, I'm always, ah. <laughs> tomorrow night, I don't have anything after work, so you will see me. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these projects. I hope that you guys will get creative this weekend, and I hope a lot of you will come see us on Sunday. I'm super excited to go do this with her, but I'm also super excited to get back and craft with you guys on Sunday. And I will be posting videos on Friday evening for you guys to watch in lieu of a live video on Friday. And for my members, you will see some videos tomorrow as well, make up for tonight, and also to have some fun over the weekend while I will not be here. You guys can get creative with some of these projects. So thank you so much for joining me, guys, and I hope you guys will try some of these projects. It was so much fun hanging out with you, and as always, thank you so much for supporting our small business. Good night.